Okay, now we go on with multiple choice questions. Questions 37 to 40, we've got multiple choice questions. Choose the correct letter A, B, C or D. Write the correct letter in boxes 37 to 40. Now, multiple choice questions are also type A. Type A means questions and their answers are in order. So question number 37. When assembling their teams, band leaders all prioritized players. When they were assembling, assemble means to collect. When they were assembling their teams, the band leaders all prioritized players. Now let's go back, assembling band leaders and prioritize. Assemble. Where do you find the word assemble? Band leaders assemble. It's B and third paragraph. Section B and third paragraph. All right. I'm reading from the beginning. Section B, third paragraph. Please follow me. There were strong similarities in the process the band leaders used to assemble their diverse team of talent. In particular, they looked for musicians with a different sound or way of play, uh, playing. Focus this thing. I mean, there were strong similarities in the process. The band leaders used to assemble their diverse teams of talent. In particular, they looked for musicians with a different sound or way of playing. One that was unique. Now just focus this sentence. They looked for musicians with a different sound or way of playing, one that was unique to that band member and would improve the overall sound of the band. Now please come back. Just focus the word unique sound. Option A. When assembling their team, the band leaders all prioritized players. Option A. Who had special technical skill? Yes or no? Huh? They did not talk about technical skill. They talked about unique sound. So it's not A. Option B. Who were used to working independently? No. They did not mention anything about working independently like that. Option C. Who had an individual style of their own? Individual style of their own means their unique voice. Well done. So correct answer is option C. And option D, who would get on well with other band members? No, not that one. So correct answer for 37 is C. Question number 38. What obstacle might jazz leaders face? Now underline obstacle. What obstacle might jazz leaders face in reducing destructive conflict among team members? So what obstacle they faced in reducing destructive conflict among team members? Let's go back. Paragraph C, because questions and answers are in order. So paragraph C. So we have to find out what obstacle might jazz leaders face, their obstacle. Okay, I'm reading it from second line. And sure enough, uh, they talk about conflict in the beginning. Let's read it from the beginning. But... Disparate teams, many different personalities and high levels of creativity are a recipe for ground conflict. And sure enough, there was plenty of dysfunctional conflict and disruptive clashes of egos and personalities evident in jazz uh, ensembles. Uh, traditional team leadership theory suggests that to get the best team performance, the leader should foster conflict that is productive in its effects while minimizing destructive conflict. But this is difficult. Now read this carefully. But this is difficult when the sources of productive and destructive conflict are the same. Now when the sources are the same, that is difference in personality and thinking. So how do leaders deal with destructive conflict? It didn't seem. So what was the problem? But this is the difficulty. And what is that? When the source of productive and destructive conflict are the same. Let's go back. What obstacle might jazz leaders face in reducing destructive conflict among team members? Option A. They may also reduce 
productive conflict in the process see that they are saying that the source of productive and destructive conflict they are the same so what was the difficulty if the sources are same and you are trying to you are you are trying to reduce a uh, destructive conflict at the same time you are reducing productive conflict as well try to understand the point when the source is same like for example in one organization there are two conflicts one is productive conflict one is destructive but the source mean the people who are in conflict they are same so if you reduce destructive conflict at the same time you will reduce productive conflict as well so what is option a they may also reduce productive conflict in the process that's the right answer option b their team members tend to have specially strong personalities that's not the strong personalities that was their obstacle option c they are unaware of the theory concerning different types of conflicts they were aware already they mentioned the theory option d their team members may be unwilling to cooperate in reducing this they didn't talk about it let's read it again question 38 what obstacle might jazz leaders face in reducing destructive conflict among team members please come back i'm reading it but this is difficult got it but this is difficult when the source of productive and destructive conflict are the same that is difference in personality and thinking and if you read a line ahead okay i'm reading it from fourth line last paragraph fourth line traditional team leadership theory suggests that to get the best team performance the leader should foster conflict that is productive in its effects while minimizing destructive conflict but this is difficult when the source of productive and destructive conflicts are the same it means if you minimize the destructive conflict you are going to minimize productive conflict as well so question number 38 option a will be the right answer by the way you are dealing with very high level of english language yeah but you know they are talking about another thing that is the theory answer is not related to that answer is not related to that sentence that they are fostering it that is the theory answer comes when they say but this is difficult when the sources of productive and destructive conflict are the same while minimizing destructive conflict but this is difficult when the sources so when the sources are same if you are reducing one conflict you are reducing the other one one is beneficial and one is not beneficial okay let's go on question number 39 what approach to group coordination was shared by ellington davis and plucky so approach to group co coordination so approach to group coordination was shared by ellington davis and plucky all right okay uh, section d second paragraph and we've got to find their approach section d second paragraph but that was not the approach ellington davis and balake adopted instead now read from here carefully instead these leaders acted more as facilitators empowering the musicians to collectively coordinate their behavior and action to produce the desired outcome all clear right what was their approach their approach was Uh, like they became facilitators empowering the musicians collectively coordinate their behavior and action and all that and if you read on and then they got up uh, talk about ukba saran and locket so come back what approach to group coordination was shared option a they allowed musicians to be creative within certain agreed limits thank you So what will be the answer is that is that the right one they allowed musicians to be creative within certain agreed limits they did not mention any agreed limits option b they increased opportunities for success is there any mention of success or opportunities for success no they didn't talk about success what sorry outcome is not success outcome can be failure also 
right? Your peer in IELTS outcome is your result. It can be good or bad. So outcome cannot be linked with the success, okay? Now, option C, they provided a structure within which musicians could express themselves. This is the right answer. Come back. They provided a structure within which musicians could express themselves. So please read again. But that was not the approach Ellington, Davis and Blake adopted. Instead, these leaders acted more like facilitators. Now, what is that? More like facilitators means they provided a structure. Okay? And then the second part is within which musicians could express themselves. Now, what is that? They provided a structure uh, acted more like facilitators, empowering the musicians to collectively coordinate their behavior and action to produce the desired outcome. So, empowering the musicians, right, to collectively coordinate their behavior, like they were free to coordinate their behavior and action to produce the desired outcome. Question number 39, answer is C. They provided a structure within which musicians could express themselves. Like when they empowered them, when they facilitate, when you empower someone, it means you are giving them the power. When you give them the power, then they can express themselves. Question number 40. Uh, sorry? Option D. They coordinated the work of their team. They did not talk about teamwork. They coordinated the work of their team. So each member continued, e contributed equally. Equality is not mentioned, right? Okay, question number 40. Ukba Saran and her colleagues found that high turnover of members in jazz bands. Now, Ukba Saran and her colleagues found that high turnover. High turnover means a lot of people join. High turnover of members in jazz band. Now, what's the reason why there was high turnover in jazz band? Come back. Sorry? Turnover, like the number. Turnover means the number of people. Uh, Ukpa, Saran and colleagues. Let's, let's read about that. Then we come back to it. Okay, paragraph E. First line. And they talk about... Yeah, turnover means the people who are leaving. You're right. Uh, paragraph E. The third aspect of leadership behavior... Uh, that Ukpa, Saran and her colleagues looked at was managing team turnover. People joining and leaving the team. All right. So turnover means people joining at the same time leaving, coming and going. Okay. In the jazz uh, ensembles st uh, studied, musicians joined and left on a regular basis. Yet the high turnover of team members, despite the resulting loss of knowledge and skills, was seen in a positive light. That was partly because of the advantages of getting a fresh shot of knowledge, ideas, and creativity. Now, what happened? There was high turnover, but still it was beneficial for them because the new people came with fresh knowledge, fresh experience, and all that. Now, let's come back. High turnover of members in jazz band. Option A was eventually reduced by policies of the band leaders. Reduced, not mentioned. Option B, was welcomed by band leaders for the benefits it brought. Now, what were the benefits? Come back. Let's read. What were the benefits? They mentioned, despite the resulting loss of knowledge and skills was seen in a positive light. That was partly because of the advantages of getting a fresh shot of knowledge, ideas, and creativity. These are the benefits. So, question number 40, correct answer is B. C was due to uh, due to a shortage of effective band leaders. No. D was a feature of growing popularity of jazz. They didn't talk about popularity. So correct answer is option B.